Hello friends, welcome to my channel. With the emerging popularity of OTT platforms, there has been an excess of content available to all of us. And I've been watching Cinema from South for a while now. Believe me, I've seen some great projects, be it from Tamil, Telugu, Kannada or Malayalam film industry. I became a huge fan of Fahad Fazil ever since I watched the Tamil movie Super Deluxe. While Super Deluxe is another fantastic piece of cinema that I will talk in another video, today I'm gonna talk about an electrifying movie from Malayalam film industry. Name of the movie? France. The leading star cast includes Fahad Fazil, his wife Nazria, and support, ca support cast includes Gautam Menon, Chamban Vinod, and Sobin Shahir. The film is directed by Anwar Rashid and written by Vincent Vadakan. France mesmerizes its audience by showcasing the segment of people who are blinded by faith, the free thinkers and godmen. While on one end there are scores of people who are exploited by the so-called godmen, this film is about a fake pastor who is used by corporates to mint money using faith as the driving force. It presents a deadly combination of religion, greed, consumerism and the anarchy that it follows. Let's see how the story unfolds. Fahad plays Viju Prasad, a motivational trainer who is struggling to make his life work, also taking care of his younger brother. However, because of a drastic incident, he is forced to move to Mumbai to get a new start. And at this point, he gets an offer from two businessmen, Gautam Menon and Chamban Vinod to join them. The twist is that he has to pose as a fake pastor to make profits for these two. Viju takes on the identity of Pastor Joshua Carlton and his magnetic persona along with the well-planned and orchestrated acts of miracles which establish his image of that of a messiah. However, a stunt on live TV brings the entire operations under the scanner and the rest of the movie follows its impact not only on Joshua but his bosses and most importantly his followers. Fahad as a docile Viju and the flamboyant pastor Joshua brings maniacal energy on screen and drives the film. Believe me guys, Fahad is flawless and charismatic as Joshua and his character is a complete mirror image of some of the popular faith healers around the world. It was a treat to watch him in each and every scene. Over the last few years, Fahad has emerged as one of the most bankable stars and an awesome actor, speaking great scripts across multiple languages down south. He is not only a thinking actor, but conveys a lot through his eyes. France is no different when it comes to expressing uh, it to the audience. Gotham Menon and Chamban Vinod as shrewd entrepreneurs Dilish as Joshua's advisor and Sobin Shahir as TV journalist are the other three chief characters who further lift the script to another level. While it's an out-and-out -out Fahad's movie, the supporting cast works like a symphony and the final outcome is just perfect. Nazria's role as Esther Lopez is unlike anything that she has done ever before. As the weed-smoking, alcohol-gulping girl, it's a breakaway image from the bubbly girl-next-door roles that she is usually associated with. While the first half of the movie is absolutely rocking and right in its pacing and content, however, the second half of the script dilutes a little bit. There were a couple of subplots that could have been avoided, and the movie length at 2 hours and 50 minutes is a bit too long in retrospect. However, having said that, most of the frames are super stylish, cinematography is cool and an awesome background music from Sushin Shyam and Jackson Vijayan. The background music is such meticulously planned with the movements or feelings of characters that you rarely get to see this in Hindi cinema. I think movies like Trance will be a pioneer if someone looks up to creating background music as a career in movies. If you don't believe me, just watch the trailer and you'll instantly relate to what I'm trying to convey. There's so much happening in the second half and the anarchy the protagonist is going through, it takes the story in a completely different tangent. It instantly reminded me of the lead character in a play that I read while in college. Uh, the name of the play was The Death of an Archist. 
Another thing that I liked with trance is that it doesn't spoon feed you and presents things in the mi minimalistic way, which means it doesn't underestimate its audience. It lets you think and help you draw the character's arc, whether the character's background or the future path. It will force you to think why these characters are like the way they have been presented on screen. And the madness that it brings to the table will force you to watch this movie more than once for sure. There are many scenes in the movie that convey so much more with its background music and how the actor portrays a character and that too without even a single dialogue. Trance is a movie that might not be liked by everyone, however it cuts for an exciting watch and Fahad is in his top form. Don't give it a miss if you love good cinema without cultural or language barriers. You can watch this movie on Amazon Prime. Keep watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.